Hello. 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 Hi. Oh, your name is Mantasha, right? Yeah, right. Great, Mantasha. Where are you from? From Uttarakhand. Oh, that's great. Uttarakhand is a nice place I've heard, right? Hills and everything. Yeah. Right. Have you ever so been Uttarakhand? Oh, uh, no, but I've heard a lot about that place. Okay. Uh, I'm from Delhi, by the way. Okay. Yeah, mostly Jyotar are from Delhi. <laughs> Unemployment in Delhi. <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> Great. So, uh, give me a basic introduction about yourself. What do you do whenever? Oh, okay. My name is Mantisha, and I live in Kitcha, which is which is located in Uttarakhand, and I'm pursuing MSc. It's my final. Mm, semester in my family apart from my parents i have a younger brother and sister and my hobbies are reading writing i'm not a good painter but i love to draw and explore myself more and talking with a stranger these are my hobbies okay so what do you read and write you said reading and writing right yeah reading about like um, like fiction and non fiction kind of books and about writing so Uh, to improve my english language i uh, i write whatever happens in a day or whatever i read or see on social media something like that uh that's all <laughs> like a journal thing right diary kind of thing mm-hmm. yeah that's great and how long have you been doing that the journal uh it's been but uh, i'm not doing regularly uh, because it's been i think two months uh, completed now i'm not writing anything not reading anything because of my third semester exam as well as uh, i'm doing something as just to grow up uh, but uh, uh, it's been i think uh, i think 3 to 4 months completed i have been writing okay great so uh, what is the subject of your masters chemistry we love chemistry so much that we did a masters in that huh It, but what are you saying? I'm not getting your point. Your voice is oh, not really? like. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's fine. But sometimes it's breaking. Oh, could be the net effect of you. Yeah. So I was asking, like, you love chemistry so much that you did a master's in that. Oh, when I was in class twelfth, that time it was my favorite. But now I hate. I'm just doing it. I don't know why. Oh, your bachelor's were also in chemistry, I guess, right? No, it was that basic physiology, botany, chemistry. Oh, so now you are specializing in chemistry. Mm, in chemistry, yeah. And why did you choose chemistry, like out of physiology and botany? Because I didn't have any choice. That's why for physiology, there was no option of physiology and botany in my college. That's why. When I got admission, then they added zoology botany. <laughs> prank. Yeah. yeah, it was a okay. prank, or maybe it was my destiny that I have to perform in chemistry that I hate so much. So, what are your future plans with like your studies or career, all of that? Not plan something, um, but uh, I'm doing a job. And that's enough, I think. After this degree, uh, maybe I'll go for B.Ed. You'll go for B.Ed. Oh, you teach chemistry then? Yeah, might be chemistry or might be English because I love English. That's why I will choose English. It doesn't matter for P.I.T. or for T.G.T. P.G.T. But because I love this subject, that's why I want to do this one. and uh, not chemistry because it will a kind of pressure if i choose this one but if i'll choose like english so i will enjoy more uh, that's why yeah. and i guess chemistry is not too hard right can you not so like, remember hard, all yeah. the reactions if... and stuff <laughs> not too much i i don't study a lot chemistry but uh, when i used to it was like uh, very easy for me and i was a good student at that time but now i don't uh, i really have, because uh, we don't study now that's why it looks like a ghost but if we study that doesn't matter that uh, what the subject it is but i uh, yeah uh, physics uh, physics is a really difficult subject i guess 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to ask something, but now I forgot. What was that? I forgot it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, do you also watch movies or something? Yeah, I watch movies sometime, but nowadays I hardly get time uh, to watch something. or like doing something recently i joined a job like uh, uh, so this is what i was going to ask that yeah. what is this oh mm-hmm. <laughs> like uh, where i'm uh, like doing a job that's what, uh, that's what your question i think mm-hmm. yeah like what is the job <laughs> yeah i joined a, a, in a school as a prd teacher just for oh, experience uh, with, with my and- masters primary teachers oh. like uh, for up to class 8 oh, so you teaching them science or what english as i told you just for my enjoyment they ask me actually they ask me that why are you because you are pursuing like uh, your subject is chemistry so why are you not choosing this uh, chemistry or something science or maths uh, because uh, it's been i think because uh, i have been teaching uh, for uh, two years and i have a great experience with math and uh, science and now i don't want to choose i want a different kind of environment so i choose english and they were asking me that why are you choosing english it's a different stream mm-hmm. and you are going in that so i just said like i don't want any kind of pressure in my life i just want to enjoy this yeah. job that's why i'm choosing this if you are giving me this subject then i'll join otherwise i'm not jo- uh, joining this So okay, I guess they gave you that subject, right? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, because they, my demo was uh, I, they were I, actually they uh, they were satisfied with me. My demo was good, and interview was also good because I have been talking with tutors uh, for a long time. Except this, uh, I have a like a, I can say good experience to talk to with the strangers in English language. I know I make so many mistakes. i don't have a good uh, sentence structure no uh, like a uh, good vocab or uh, maybe like a uh, uh, preposition mistake but i just speak so they they were satisfied with that <laughs> just for the prt and uh, which class is your favorite to teach like up to 8 as you teach me hmm if i have grade myself then they can they will give me like 9th or 10th maybe ah like i asked like uh, which class is your favorite to teach up to 8 like fourth class second class which up class to eight, uh, no 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 first year class no second class i hate this because those child are so naughty uh, i love like uh, like fifth class is good fifth to uh, fifth to eighth all are good but uh, below fifth uh, is not good just because they are naughty they are too naughty or they speak a lot in the class or uh, they have a lot of like uh, scenarios that ma'am uh, th- they are taking my bottle or uh, <laughs> like taking my pencil or he 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 beats me or uh, in like uh, he pushed me that kind of scenario it is too difficult to handle them so what do you do in these kind of scenarios like do you scold them or like what i beat both of them doesn't matter who performed that mistake i just beat both of them evil mantash <laughs> Oh my! So how do you like you just slap? I don't know what. <laughs> oh, like you, when they tease me a lot, so doesn't matter. I'll gonna beat with a stick or with a slap, or might be I'll get pun punished. Like uh, you have to uh, like go outside from the class, something like that. Okay, that is a strict teacher right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and what exactly. Are, what are things you enjoy about teaching? About teaching, like uh, when I teach, that is like I enjoy this 
or sometimes talking to students when they stuck in the sentences or when they don't know very basic things. So I enjoy this thing because I just try to make uh, clear their doubts. That is more enjoy more most enjoyable part of the like uh, uh, of the school. Mm -hmm. That you're able to help some, right? Yeah, let's try. Mm -hmm. And one side is a level of you know one side is a level of me but other other one side i am very helpful for others mm -hmm. okay. this is this is just for back benches who uh bother me a lot otherwise i don't uh, like uh, uh, slap those children or uh, like uh, give punishment to them what kind of a child were you when you were small? Like, were you naughty or obedient or what? I was just uh, like uh, average. I uh, uh, I used not to talk a lot, uh, or uh, I was uh, uh, like a class monitor at that time. So at that time, also I used to beat to uh, my classmate a lot, especially for boys. <laughs> that was the punishment. Oh my. <laughs> It's been historical. <laughs> right. But those uh, were all good. Uh, it doesn't matter how much uh, I give them punishment. They all, they all used to play with me always. Mm. But still you beat them, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> because that was my duty. A teacher gave me that duty because that uh, uh, you have to handle the class and if don't if anybody make noise and you will be beaten. So that's the thing. I oh. have to perform something like that. So for the reason that you don't get beaten, you just beat other kids. It's exactly. <laughs> and have you ever had a fight or something in your school? Yeah, like, one uh, time. Hated our argument. Hmm. What yeah, that? but uh, but not uh, for like. Uh, uh, actually, we were playing. I was playing with my classmate, and suddenly, uh, I don't remember what happened at that time. But I pushed no, I him, and I pushed him. He touched the wall, and suddenly he pushed me back, and then I, like, uh, 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 in English, I just forget. Let's go. Etaklana collided. Uh, so uh, I collided with the uh, door that happened. That mm. was the biggest fight. And after that, after that, I got my TC from that school. I never uh, go back there. Hmm. And uh, like uh, one of my best friends. Uh, she informed that because you uh, you fought with him, with her, that's why she got her TC uh, from here. But the reason is, uh, but the reason was different. I had to change my school because of uh, some issues. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he always like blame himself that because of me she got her TC. Mm -hmm. But the reason was something else, right? It was not. Yeah, real. something else. I never met with him, so that I can clear that issue that uh, that was not uh, your issue. Like this, that was not your fault that I uh, I took my TC. That, that was something else, but uh, uh, we never met. So you've been like fighting kids since childhood, right? And now you're beating kids. <laughs> Okay, right. And what else do you do? Do you also watch movies? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, what kind of movies? Recently, I watched a, yeah, not what kind of movies. Last night, I watched a, a, a Bollywood movie, Sun Terry It was a, like a, a 2015 movie, but uh, la yesterday I was just free after, um, after a hectic day. So I thought uh, I should watch this one. Uh, before this one, I watched All of Us Are Dead. It's a Netflix web series, I think, Korean mm -hmm. web series. Uh, it, it was so, so fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, one thing you can include while you're speaking, right? Are some pauses. Mm -hmm. You're speaking okay. continuously, right? So whenever a sentence ends, just take a little bit of a pause, then continue with the next one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And so this that session, would make uh, it faster. Okay. Uh, before hmm. this session, because I didn't uh, revise my session notes or didn't prepare anything. So I was thinking that today and even um, with this, I'm uh, facing a problem that I would like to ask to you. Like, uh, can I ask? Ah, yes. Yeah. So the issue is that um, uh, before clapping or before other apps where I talk to people in English language, I had a reason that I don't have an environment of English language that I can be fluent or um, uh, like uh, I can speak English, but now I have an environment, so I'm just getting blank. If somebody come to me and he asks that, uh, ma'am, are you taking class or uh, want to leave? So I, uh, I'm ju I just get blank at that time. Or I am trying to uh, speak in Hindi. Uh, that, that was so, so weird for me. And uh, if I created that kind of environment, uh, at the start in Hindi, so they people will think that uh, I don't know how to speak in English and they will start to uh, speak with me in Hindi language and I don't want something like that. It's been only, uh, I think, five and seven days, but uh, I observed myself. Um, I'm not, I'm trying, but uh, I don't know why I am getting blank. If, uh, on the other hand, I have experience. It is my, I think, 46 session. That's why I'm mm -hmm. making this uh, issues. Can you suggest me something? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can do one thing from your end, and that is to watch a lot of English content. Okay. And by content, I don't mm -hmm. mean Instagram reels. I mean movies, series, shows, mm -hmm. anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while you're watching a movie in English, Pick four or five lines from the movie, okay? No more than five. Five is the max. Pick four or five lines from the movie and repeat them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Try to say it exactly the same way that the person in the movie is saying. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, keep the pronunciation, tone, everything the same. Mm -hmm. Right? How that would help you is it would improve your pronunciation, first of all. Second, your mm -hmm. sentence formation. Because you can see what they are saying, right? You can turn the subtitles on. Then you can see what they say. Right. So slowly over time, you would know how to make your own sentences as well. Right. So that would help out a lot. And third thing is vocabulary. Because in a movie, there are a lot of words that you would hear then and there for the first time. Right. So if such a word comes up uh, in a movie, just pause the movie and mm -hmm. take a quick Google search on what's the meaning of that movie. And oh, sorry, meaning of that word. And then in there, make three to four sentences from that word. Right then. Okay, don't wait like for the movie to end. Keep the movie paused. Make three to four sentences from that word so that you know how to use that word in your daily conversation. Okay. Okay. And after that, yeah, like you would also have improved your vocabulary as well. So that would help you out yeah. a lot. Okay. Okay. So start doing that from today onwards. Or like tomorrow it's a Sunday, right? Yeah. So I think your school would be off. Yeah. Hmm? Wait, so you can just yeah, take out but... a quick hmm, you can just watch a quick movie tomorrow mm -hmm. yeah sure why not because uh, because of the comfort zone of our mother tongue we always try to watch uh, like uh, hindi movies but uh, because uh, there is no fun to watch because we always watch movies just for fun and that's why we pick some bollywood movies accept some Hollywood movies and we should try to go there. Exactly. Don't seek comfort. Like comfort is the place where dream go to die. Mm -hmm. it never ever. If you're discomfortable, then only you're learning. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable, then you're not learning anything. I don't know why I sound like Sandeep Maishwari, but okay. <laughs> okay. So you get the point, right? Okay. Anything else that you want to ask? Uh, no, that was the miss. That was only issue. Otherwise, I know uh, except this like uh, some vocabulary and preposition. I need to work on these things. After 
two in three days i will start my routine again because of my exams and because of other issues i was so much pressurized with uh because a uh, new environment is a little bit difficult to understand new things and new people there are 40 uh, like 50 55 people and i have to know each and everyone here and there so it is thing like running things are going to be hard for me that's why i'm just taking a pause in my routine work and after that i will start again Okay, yeah, don't worry, you got this.